problem. Well, today the moment has come. The reason why I said the moment has come, we're going to make you a nice, lovely potato pudding, sweet potato pudding today. And I'm going to give you the full recipe, how it make, how it, the whole process. Guys, you're going to love this beautiful, sweet potato pudding. And this one is from Chef Ricardo. And please, subscribe to the YouTube channel. Please put your comments below if you like the recipe. Um, if you see anything you want me to do for you, I always say please write it in the description box and I will definitely do it for you. Remember, visit my website at chefricardo.co.uk. Sign up for free. You can win that unblender mix. There's a video on YouTube tell you what to do. So, this is the way how you make this. all of the ingredients right here. Then, right over here, we have 750 grams of sweet potato. In other as country, they would say pound and a half, which is 750 gram next we have our sauce same amount of sugar one and a half pounds of sugar this is 750 gram also and i'm using some brown sugar well i have one cups of flour and i'm using plain flour you can use any kind of all-purpose flour you want to use you can use self-rising flour it doesn't matter i'm using some plain flour at the moment well i have half cups of cornmeal this is the rough caramel which I'm using. I got the rough one and I also got the smooth one. And then right over here, I got some mixed spice. I'm using one teaspoon of mixed spice. I got some grated nutmeg egg. I'm using one and a half teaspoon also. One teaspoon of salt. And also I got one tablespoon of baking powder right here. Next, I got a tablespoon of butter teaspoon of butter and also i got vanilla essence we're going to use and some vanilla you can use white vanilla if you like i got two cups of coconut milk cream coconut milk which we're going to use also inside of it then i got also half cups of half cup i got half cups of raisin and what i did i put some some coconut cream or some of the coconut milk on top of it for it to go and soak in the meantime I add second thing you need to preheat the oven at least now when you're gonna start to mix all your ingredients together put your oven at just mark 5 or 6 if you're using a different stove you can use it at 175 put it on a medium size heat when you put it in the oven don't put it at top put it in the middle of the oven near to the top inside of the oven it's a nice recipe and i know you guys are gonna love the recipe first of all i'm using a baking tray right here which is gonna be a nine inch you can use an eight inch or a nine inch but i have a nine inch one which i'm gonna use you need to have a sieve for the flour so right over here if i put all of my ingredients i will put my flour just like this the cornmeal um Right over here, I'm going to put in the mixed spice and I'm going to put in the nutty egg, salt and also baking powder inside of it, just like this. We're going to put in everything. So, this is the baking powder right here. Then what you're going to do next is simple sieve it just like this. Take a little time and sieve it. I just sieve it a while ago. But what I want to say to you, you don't need to use the rough cornmeal. I would say prefer to use the fine cornmeal because I just switched over and use the small, the finer cornmeal and it go through my strainer very more easier. Well, I sieve the flour and the cornmeal, the spices right here inside of it. Now what I'm going to simply do, I'm going to add the sugar inside of it just like this. That's the sugar. Then use your holding spoon and just give it a simple little mix like this. Nice one. As you can see, the way it looks inside of the bowl. So what we're going to do now, we're going to put this at the side and let's peel the sweet right potato. Here. Just remove the skin from the sweet potato and this is the way it looks. If you got a peeler, you can use a peeler. If not, you can use a knife. Um, simply you need to have a grater which we're going to use to grate it 
and the side of the grater which we're gonna also use is this side this very little small size of the grater and as I said before if you've got a food processor it is good so right here I'm just gonna seal the grater just like this and I'm gonna do both of them the same way simple, do, I'm gonna do simple grater my sweet potato like this I want to say it takes a little time but for me it's the best side to grate my sweet potato and as I say if you've got a food processor you can also use the food processor so I'm just going to grate my potato just like this it's, it's just really nice and this is a good grater to use to grate it oh I'm just grating it just like this I want to say some people they boil it and then they mash like a mashed potato but for me this is the best way you don't lose the taste you keep the flavor and you keep the texture everything when they grate that just like this it might take a little time but it is really good so I'm just grating it as you can see right here from the as I say it takes so a little finish. time Great, uh, my sweet potato. Now we're gonna do the beautiful part of it is to get it mixed, the whole mixture, everything. Now, um, right over here, I have my coconut milk. What we're gonna simply do, I'm gonna put in my um, vanilla inside of it, and I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla. Also inside of it, spoon of vanilla essence. Also inside of it, really nice. Then I'm gonna add it towards the flour, just like this. Take one at a time, and just give it a little mix, just like this. Then I got the raisin soaking the coconut milk. Also, I'm gonna add it to it. Nice and beautiful if you have a unmix you can also use it and mix to mix it but i'm just using my holding spoon and mix it then i'm gonna simple scrape in that sweet potato inside of it like this really so i had in a sweet potato and now i'm just gonna just give it a little mix up look at this Texture and the mix looking really good, nice and beautiful. So this is the way all you want it to look like. Really nice. You got the sugar and you got the baking powder, all the spices what you need also inside of it. And remember, this is one which you not you don't need to have any egg because it's a pudding. Um, as I said before, you can also put rum inside of it for me keep it a little bit longer. But one making now, I'm not gonna add any rum inside of it. I'm just adding all of those ingredients. If you like to add rum or wine, you can also soak your fruits into the wine, and you can also add rum inside of it. So right here is a it look really nice. Right here is my baking tray. So I'm just gonna simple cut out of a piece of a paper so I'm just marking around the tray like this because we're gonna put it inside the bottom of the tray then next use your scissors and a simple cut it around just like this it's just for the bottom of the tray so I just cut out the paper and what we're gonna simply do, remember that spoon of butter, we're gonna simply just use a hand, the finger, and just rub it inside of the tin like this. So that's what I'm doing right here. Then get the groove free full paper and put it straight inside of it. Just like this. Then Next, that mixture we should just mix a while ago. Pour it inside of it just like this. Then 
the neck simple just flat that just like this then you need to have something to cover it you can use either foil or you can use a cover like this and simple cover it like this and put it straight inside of your oven for roughly 45 minutes to an hour then you check it if not you give it another 10 more minutes remember have a gas mark either 6 or 7 175 Celsius Fahrenheit or if you're using a different oven put it on a medium size heat put it in between the oven not in the middle slightly a little bit of the middle inside the oven and bake it for roughly an hour to 45 minutes if not give it another 10 minutes so we're gonna do the whole process as you guys can see I just put it in the oven and that's the way how it look in the oven if you notice I have it almost a little bit in between the middle and the top so right now I put it in the oven and it's gonna just leave it for roughly 45 minutes to an hour then you check it and see the way it look beautiful recipe so enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel put your comments below and I know you guys are gonna love this sweet nice. potato pudding. Beautiful. I just take it from the oven. As you can see, this is the way all the sweet potato pudding look. Really nice. It is a uh, one hour and roughly about 15 minutes now since I have it in the oven. Now I'm gonna use my knife and I'm gonna simply just push it on in it just like this. And as you can see. But that's the way our sweet potato pudding look because this is sweet potato and we're not using any egg. Well, what I want to simply say to you, when I put it in the oven, remember, I did cover it like this. You can use foil if you do like to use foil. I didn't use foil. This is from another um, baking tray, which I did use. So I just use it and just cover it like this. Put it in the oven and bake it for roughly hour and 15 minutes and a medium sized gas mark six um second thing remember i'll give you all those ingredients i use a teaspoon of baking powder teaspoon of cinnamon a spoon and teaspoon of teaspoon and a half of grated nutmeg and a spoon of vanilla and a spoon of essence you can also use white rum inside of it if you do like to use rum i didn't use rum in mine um i just use a coconut milk in mine so if you like to use rum you can use rum also inside of it if you do like but this is the way all my sweet potato pudding come out and that's the ingredients where i did use if you want to try it you can give it a go you can leave your comments as i say now i'm gonna leave this for it to cool down for the next 20 to 25 minutes then we're gonna slice it put it on a plate to show you the way how it look beautiful sweet potato pudding cake so, as i say i take the potato sweet potato pudding from the oven and it did cool off and this is the way how it look really nice and beautiful sweet potato pudding but what I'm gonna simple do, I'm gonna simple decorate it and I'm gonna put it on a piece, put a piece on a plate and then we're gonna take a picture of it and see the way how it looks. So I, right guys, here, I just put a little bit of fresh cream right there. Cream you can get it anywhere, local in a local shop, supermarket or store. Well I have some fresh, fresh mint right here. I'm gonna just simple put it on it just like this. And next, I'm gonna simply use my knife, cut off a piece of this sweet potato pudding. Look at this nice, beautiful sweet potato pudding. And I know, and I know you guys are gonna that simple love this sweet potato pudding. And right here, as you can see, what I'm doing right here at the moment, nice and beautiful. And I know you guys are gonna love this one. So, as you can see, let's give it a little bit to look like this. Then next, what I'm gonna simple do, I'm gonna simple cut my strawberry and I'm gonna simple put piece right there, piece right there, and also piece right there, and piece right there. Beautiful recipe for you guys. So I wanna say please enjoy the recipe and subscribe to the YouTube channel. You can also put your comments below. That is just a nice and beautiful sweet potato so pudding from Chef Ricardo. This is the way it look. Really nice and beautiful. I put a little bit of fresh cream 
fresh mint and use some strawberry to decorate around it looking really nice so if you like the recipe please put your comments below and please subscribe to the youtube channel thank you very much for watching chef for the cooking program the moment has come well this is a sweet potato pudding and as a seed looking beautiful really nice come out perfect and as i say i put a little bit of fresh cream the fresh mint decorate it for my guests if you're at home and you and the whole place does smell of this beautiful sweet potato pudding and as i say you can look inside of it i got some raisin which i did put in the mixture also so it's just really nice and beautiful but what i want to say to you most people when they're making sweet potato pudding they put all the yam inside of it i didn't put any yam i just make my own natural right at the moment so if you like the recipe please put the comments below subscribe to the youtube channel and you know I me mean? thank you very much for watching chef for cooking program as i said there's a lot more recipe for you guys. The moment has come. Here it is. Beautiful one from Chef Ricardo.